Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will be learning Huffman coding technique using greedy choice property. So, Huffman coding is a data compression algorithm. That is, if we have some data, it will compress it in such a way such that while decoding it, no loss of information occurs. In this, we assign a variable length code to input characters. This variable length code depends on the occurrence or frequency of the character in our data. The most frequent character gets the smallest code and the least frequent character gets the largest code. See here how the code length varies depending upon the frequency of characters. Now whatever code is assigned to our characters possess prefix property which requires that there is no whole code word in the system that is a prefix of any other code word in that system. For example, a code with code words 0, 1, 1 has the prefix property, whereas a code consisting of 0, 1 and 1, 1 does not, because here 1 is a prefix of 1, 1. This property makes sure that our data is uniquely decodable. Now let's see how this compression work is carried out using Huffman coding technique. This is the sample data information. Our data consists of six unique characters and these are their frequencies. So let's have the Huffman algorithm. These are the four steps that will help us to build a Huffman tree which in turn will provide us the Huffman codes for all the characters. We have the data, we have the algorithm. So let's do a quick try run and build a Huffman tree. The first step says to build a min heap for each unique character. If you don't know about binary heap, you may refer to our quick video tutorial that we have covered earlier. This heap would be based on frequencies of the input characters such that each node data is less than or equal to the data in the node's children. Once we have the main heap, we need to extract two nodes with minimum frequencies. This step is greedy in nature. Here we have character A and B with the least frequencies. In the next step, we form a new internal node with frequency equal to the sum of the two nodes frequencies. The first extracted node forms its left child and the second extracted node becomes right child. After node formation, we add this new internal node to our min heap. In last step, we perform step 2 and 3 until only a single node remains in our heap. So we again extract the two nodes with minimum frequencies. Here we have C and D with least frequencies. We form a new internal node and add node C to its left and node D to its right and its frequency as the sum of its children. And finally add this new internal node to our min heap. Again we extract the two nodes with minimum frequencies. Here we have N1 and E with least frequencies. We form a new internal node and add node N1 to its left and node E to its right and its frequency as the sum of its children. Finally, we add this new internal node N3 to our min heap. Our heap still have more than one node. So again, we extract the two nodes with minimum frequencies. Here we have N2 and N3 with least frequencies. We form a new internal node and add N2 to its left and node N3 to its right and its frequency as the sum of its children. And finally add this new internal node N4 to our main heap. We now have two nodes left. Merging them would give a single node and thus our algorithm may stop. So we form a new internal node N5 and add F with lesser frequency to its left and N4 with higher frequency to its right. 
and its frequency as the sum of its two children. So this would be the final output of this algorithm and we'll call it a Huffman tree. Now to generate code from this tree, we'll traverse it from the root and assign 0 to the left child and 1 to the right child. Once we encounter a leaf node, we may print this code. This would be the codes for each character. Let's see how we obtain for node C. So here is C. We start from root, go to right, go to left, again left. So we have 1, 0 and 0. Let's generate for A. Here we have A. We start from root, go to right, again right, to left, to left. We have this 1, 1, then 0 and 0. Similarly, we do for all the characters. Now let's see how to code this algorithm. This is the implementation which has been taken from Geeks for Geeks. This function will help us to build a Huffman tree and is equivalent to the four step algorithm that we have covered earlier. We input a character array, the corresponding frequencies and the number of characters. We build a min heap out of these input. You may refer to any min heap creating function as here we are skipping it. So we iterate until the size of our min heap becomes one. We extract the top node and store it in variable left. We again extract a node and store it in right. We now form a new internal node and assign its frequency as sum of frequencies of its two children and also add left to its left child and right to its right. We finally add this new internal node to our main heap. We keep doing this until only a single node remains in our main heap. We finally return this node. This function will help us to generate codes using a Huffman tree. We input a pointer to root node, an auxiliary array to store the code form so far and the size of it. We assign 0 if left edge exists and recur. Similarly, if right edge exists, we assign 1 and recur. If we reach a leaf node, we print the code value stored in our array. Now let's see the complexity of this code. This code will run in big O of n log n time. Here n are the number of unique characters in our input. Now this n log n is because we are calling our extract min function 2 into n minus 1 times. Each time extracting two nodes with minimum value. Also, each call takes big O of log n time to heapify. So with this, we come to an end of this tutorial. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.